today we look at eight incredible archaeological discoveries. See what unexpected things scientists have found underground. Number eight. In a dry prehistoric lake bed located near the shore of Lake Vetern in Motala, Sweden lies the Tomb of Sunken Skulls. Discovered in 2009 while excavating in preparation for a new railway to be built, a collection of skulls from 11 individuals were found. Two of these were mounted on stakes. The skulls are 8,000 years old. Scientists speculate that the skulls may have been displayed in a kind of burial ritual or alternatively may have been the skulls of enemies that had been killed. Amazingly, archaeologists were able to tell that fish was a big part of their diet by analyzing their bone composition. Just think, in another 8,000 years, somebody will be saying, wow, they ate a lot of Big Macs. Number 7. The Grabel Man, so named because it was found near the village of Grabel in Denmark, is what's called a bog body. Bog bodies are human bodies that have been preserved in a peat bog, and peat is dead plant material. Discovered in 1952, the Grabel Man is one of the most well-preserved bog bodies ever, with his skin and even his hair and fingernails still intact. Through radiocarbon dating, we know he is over 2,000 years old and lived around 300 BC. Researchers believe he may have been the victim of a human sacrifice as his throat looks like it was slit. Number 6 This is the Terracotta Army. The army was discovered in 1974 east of the city Xi'an, China and consists of more than 8,000 life-size terracotta soldiers. In case you're wondering what terracotta is, it's clay-based and is used for stuff like those brownish-orange plant pots. The soldiers were created to protect the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in the afterlife. Number 5 in the 1920s, two human skull cups were found and then another in 1987 in Go's Cave in Cheddar, UK, which interestingly is a village that Cheddar Cheese is named after, which may permanently change your view of Cheddar Bowls. The skulls are 14,700 years old. Researchers believe they are skull cups based on what they describe as careful percussional banging with stones all around the edges of the skull. The practice of creating skull cups is a worldwide phenomenon with accounts of skull cups used in China, Japan, India, and by the Vikings. Number 4 is this a new back scratcher from Bed Bath & Beyond finally living up to the last part of their name? In 1986, a team exploring caves at Mount Owen, New Zealand found a mysterious claw while excavating. The claw belonged to a 3,000 year old upland moa which was the flightless bird. There were 9 known species of moa birds and unfortunately all moas are now extinct. The upland moa was the last of the moa to become extinct in the 1500s from hunting by humans. When humans first came into contact with the moas around 1250, the moa population was 58,000. It only took humans 250 years to wipe out a species. Number 3 Is this an alien skull? Perhaps, but scientists believe this skull found in Mexico is a human skull that is a result of a process called artificial cranial deformation. It's usually done when a child is an infant and the skull is softest, and they bind the skull with either wood or cloth for about six months. Why they do this, no one really knows, but it is thought that it was a means of signifying status. Even more surprising is the fact that the practice still continues to this day in some places such as Vanuatu, which is an island near Fiji. However, some researchers believe the elongated skulls actually belong to a race of humans which no longer exist. Number 2 This is the Chachapoya mummy. The Chachapoyas were known as the warriors of the clouds and lived in what is now Peru. It looks like this person died a truly horrifying death as if screaming and covering their face. However, the hands are actually tied to the face and archaeologists suspect that putting the hands in this configuration was just the easiest way to make the mummy compact and easy to transport. The open mouth is a common phenomenon where unless the jaw is restrained, the mouth will slowly open as the body decomposes. Researchers believe the Chachapoya did not just leave their dead but instead cared for them and possibly rewrapped them and put them on display. And now for the number one most intense archaeological discovery. For more videos like this, subscribe here. Number one. Meet La Dancea, which translates to the maiden, who is one of the children of Yuyayako. The children of Yuyayako are three of the best preserved Inca mummies ever found. They were found by Dr. Johann Reinhard and his team in 1999 at the peak of Mount Yuyayako, which is 22,100 feet high and located on the border of Chile and Argentina. The children are believed to have been a sacrifice to the gods that occurred 500 years ago. La Doncea was 13 years old and the other boy and girl are thought to have been about 6 years old. The other girl has been named La Nina del Rayo, or Lightning Girl, because it appears that, adding insult to injury, she was struck by lightning after her death. The boy was the only one who was tied up. 
Interestingly, scientists learned that the children had regularly consumed coca leaves, which cocaine is made from, and maize beard prior to their death. The oldest girl has been quoted as saying coca is a hell of a drug.